Now, research in Oxfordshire looking into human bones could make it possible to identify victims of plane crashes. Scientists from Portugal and Italy are using equipment at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory near Didcot for analysis. It's hoped the work will improve forensic techniques, as Stuart Tamworth reports. These medieval bones were found near Rome. Others being tested at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory are from the Bronze Age. Scientists from Europe are using the advanced technology here to see inside the bones. It's giving them clues to how people lived and died. If they were very active people, then the protein in the bone is different, for instance, and uh, certainly about the way they treated their dead people. Whether they cremated them, they wrapped them in a cloth before burying, whether they used coffins, whether they painted their, their deads. This research is not just for historical interest. The techniques could help identify victims of disasters like 9-11. It's not been possible to identify the remains of more than a thousand people who died in the disaster. But a greater understanding of bone structure could make a difference. At high temperatures, DNA can get damaged. At very high temperatures, it certainly does. That hinders identification of victims. So we need another technique, which is, uh, in this case, to look at the molecular structure of the bone and determine how it has changed with temperature. Researchers from Portugal and Italy plan to return to Oxfordshire next year. They hope their findings will help archaeologists understand the past and improve forensic techniques in the future. Stuart Tinworth, BBC South Today.